to come out first thing in the morning and it's quite awesome we've got uh, found these mines and open clearing and kill the buffalo um, so we get up closer and have a good look at what's happening so you can see this buffalo has been killed pretty much on the, on the uh, let's just go a little bit over here Okay, so if you have a look now, you know, so many, so many big males here um, with this kill. Obviously, the lioness is tucking in the background over there. But it's interesting how they, they're constantly watching something to the right at the moment. I don't know what it is that they're seeing over there, eyeing those lecture in the distance. But uh, have a look at how the muzzle's been eaten off. And when you've got that many big animals here, they're not going to... Um, just hang around and all try and get into the belly. There's not enough space. So the animal that, oh, there's a young male got up as well. The one that would have done the killing, they would have usually gone for the muzzle or the throat, gone for a strangulation or suffocation bite, and then would have just sort of tucked into the muzzle because it would have started well, bleeding. See the limp? Yeah. Could have happened with the buffalo, maybe falling on his leg. Um, and then you can see how the rear end has been opened up as well. So that's typically where they will try and get into. That's where the tail is and then open the belly and feeding on everything down there now. But this is a, a big uh, male buffalo, so there's going to be a lot of food for them today here. The thing is, it's out in the open. So yeah, he's just urinating right in amongst them all there. Okay. Well, this one's got a lot of uh, blood on his forelimbs. And look how full he is and he's going back for more. That's what lions do. You can see just where that one on the right is standing now, all the belly contents have been pulled out there. So just as we saw yesterday, um, with that cheetah kill, they try and lighten the load, number one. But they're trying to get it all out the way so that they can get into all the good bits. <laughs> and here's the first vulture coming in. Dead. Yeah, so he's going to come and drop down. It's, you know, it's still very early in the morning and going to try and see what he can find on the ground. These are the ones that with the small beak that eat the bits and pieces. And just that descent is probably going to have been seen by other vultures much further away. And they'll come down in numbers and then draw attention to where this kill is. Okay, so we've got an interesting thing playing out here. You see these lines are moving off. Uh, they've all been looking intently in the opposite direction see how they've how they're looking around there now the males are all taking off you can see this one not very happy about what they see and uh, the reason for that, that the girls is that yeah you see these vultures coming in here now so these vultures are actually going to draw the attention <coughs> of in the distance can't really see them in here now but right at the back there's some three male lines coming in and these would be, look at all these vultures coming in it's from, like from a distance. Yep, yeah. they, that's why I said that one that first came down would have been seen by the others. Now we're starting to see the whitebacks coming in as well, and they're going to come in in numbers. And any other predators in the area who are looking for an easy meal would then start descending on this. So okay. those big males in the distance, three of them are coming, and they're going to come and take over this kill. Look at them, yeah, they they taking like off. 30 miles away they can see where yeah so it's like a domino going. effect they watch yeah. other vultures dropping down and they all start descending so we're going to see a great thing play out here now um i was hoping to see a bit of an altercation between these two groups but these young males are no, no, are no, really no, hightailing it out of there they're yeah. deferring straight away so even though we've had them around camp and we even heard them calling quite a bit last night they're at that <laughs> stage now where they're trying to establish themselves as a force in the area but they still have a recollection of what these males, these big boys can do. And this big male that's arriving here would have taught them some lessons in the past. So um, they're going to... That's actually their father. Yeah, exactly. But he would have been chasing them off. So, they, yeah. so they, they're they, going to basically um, defer to that and, and, and rather, you know, they've had a good meal now. Some of them are quite full, as you can see. So they'll rather live to fight another day and move off and let these other boys take the kill. Look at how many of them are pouring in here. Oh, wow. It's incredible. Now these vultures, so many coming from the same direction, would have all been clustered in a tree somewhere else, um, and you know have come in maybe from another uh, another older kill yesterday. Uh, see how they're coming in amongst the lions. 
Yeah. 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 Um, eat as much as I can, but you can see the, the older of the males is now coming back. Um, it's interesting because those other males are on their way, but they're not actually coming with any intent. Very often when they've identified an enemy in an area or an easy scavenge, then they'll start trotting in at least, and uh, these are, are not doing that. So we might see um, a bit of a standoff for a while, but there's a lot of meat still left on this buffalo. Yeah. Okay.